Yes. Are you able to see the screen? Yeah, please respond. Yes, sir. OK, OK. So here, for virtual labs, you have to type www. V lab. V lab. Dot. Co. Dot. In. Okay, you have to type. V lab. Dot. Co. Dot. In. Just, just wait for one minute.
<coughs> yes. Students, are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. So. For virtual labs, you have to type www.vlab.co.in. See here. vlab.co.in. So you are going to get this one. If you have a laptop, so please open the laptop and uh, uh, type up vlab.co.in. So after this, you have to go to electronics and communications. See here, first one. Electronics and communications. So, uh, note on any paper or a book, vlab.co.in. After that, you have to type, you have to click on electronics and communications. So, here you can see here labs ready for use. So, in, the, in this, you can see the last one electric circuits lab. Electric circuits lab. So, click on this. So you can see uh, experiments. So you require Thevenin's and Norton's theorem. So Kirchhoff's loss is there. So Thevenin's theorem. You click on the Thevenin's theorem. So here you are going to get theory in this. You can uh, go through the theory. So explanation is given with an example. So you can do this, uh, you can connect this one. So I will show you how to connect this one. So here, this is the circuit. So for this, if you want to find out the RTH, Have I covered a, a theory for Thevenin's and Norton's? Yeah, one of you respond. So here, this is the circuit in the simulation. So you can see the applications of Thevenin's theorem. So Thevenin's theorem is especially... The Thevenin's theorem is especially useful in analyzing power systems and other circuits where one particular node in the circuit called the load resistor is subject to change and a recalculation of the circuit is necessary with each trial value of the load resistance yeah keep your microphone in mute one or two. One or two, keep your uh, microphone uh, ninety two, ninety two. Ninety two, keep your microphone in mute. Only, sir. See here, Thevenin's theorem is uh, especially useful in analyzing power systems where the load is, will be changing, remaining part of the circuit will, will not change. In that case, Thevenin's theorem is very useful. Next, source modeling and resistance measurement using the Wheatstone bridge. 
provide applications for 10 minutes there. So here, most, most part of the circuit will not change and if there is a change in only small part then in that case as Thevenin's theorem is very much useful. So let us go to the simulation. So here once again I will uh, revise this one Thevenin's theorem. So here this is a circuit. So this circuit and here well, we want simplified circuit. So for this I will take an example. See here. This is a so complex circuit. This is a complex circuit consisting of more than one voltage source and more many resistors. And this can be this can be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit. See here, this box A and B are the two terminals, RL is the load. So here if only RL is changing, remaining part of the circuit remains unchanged. In that case, we can find the load current easily by using Thevenin's theorem. So let us consider here this box dotted portion. If you remove RL, this will be a two terminal network. That, uh, so if you consider the circuit in this box, it contains two terminals A and B. So this can be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit, see here. So here this so dotted portion is replaced by a simple equivalent circuit consisting of a single voltage source in series with the resistance RTH. See here. So RL, RL, same. Remaining part. Remaining part, if you see here, this dotted portion, this is replaced by single voltage source in series with the resistance RTH. So how to find VTH and RTH? VTH is the open circuit voltage. If you remove RL, then A and B will be open circuit. So here, see here. So you have to find the voltage across A and B. So voltage across A and B. See here, we are replacing in the circuit. Other than except RL, we are replacing the entire remaining circuit. So here, in this circuit, if you remove RL, this will be the circuit. This is a two terminal network. Okay, this uh, network can be replaced by single voltage source in series with resistance RTH. See here, I already have replaced here. Single voltage source in series with resistance RTH. Now, how to find VTH and RTH? VTH is a open circuit voltage. See here. If you find the voltage across A and B, that is open circuit voltage. So by using KVL and KCL, you can find out the VOC. So I got VOC equal to 40 volts. Okay, that is VTH. Next, coming to RTH. So for finding RTH, we have to replace the voltage source by short circuit. See here, voltage source is removed and replaced by zero resistance. That is short circuit. Here also 32 volts is replaced by short circuit. See so remaining resistors for the remaining circuit. For this circuit, you have to find out the RTH. So RTH is the equivalent resistance across the terminals A and B with energy sources replaced by internal resistance. Internal resistance for voltage source is zero. That is short circuit. Now here I got uh, if you find the uh, if you find the resistance. See here. So 3 and uh, 1 are in series. So 4, 4, see here. Finally, you are going to get an uh, RTH equal to 10 ohms. So we got a uh, RTH equal to 10 volts, VTH equal to 40 volts. And this is the simplified uh, circuit. So here, this is the this uh, yeah. this box, dashed box, is the Thevenin's equivalent resistance. 
Evening sequence circuit. Where forty uh, volts is the ten volts voltage, ten ohms is the ten ohms resistance. Now if uh, see here, uh, let us take R L equal to thirty ohms. In that case, what will be the current flowing through R L? If R L equal to thirty ohms, then current flowing through R L will be. Forty divided by total resistance. Forty by ten plus thirty, which is equal to one amperes. Suppose if if this circuit, this dotted, this dashed portion, the circuit in the box remains unchanged, and only if R L is made that seventy, then uh, if R L equal to seventy, then you can find out the current flowing through R L as zero point five amperes. So here, for any value of R L, you can find the current flowing through R L easily if you have the terminal sequence circuit. If you have this terminal sequence circuit, whatever the value of R R L, you can find the current flowing through R L. Here, R L stands for load resistance. So if R L equal to 70 ohms, I R L you are going to get 0.5 amperes. That means 40 divided by C L. So here, forty divided by ten plus seventy. That means I R here. Similarly here, if R L equal to thirty ohms, you got a current flowing through R L as forty voltage divided by total resistance because this is a single loop. Forty divided by ten plus thirty, you got one ampere. Suppose if R L equal to seventy, then forty divided by ten plus seventy, that you are going to get zero point five amperes. So here in the power system, the transmission lines, distribution lines remain the same, but the load on the system varies. If you use more appliances, the current run will be more, and the power consumption will be more. So in that cases, in power systems, Thevenin's theorem is very much useful. So let us do this uh, using simulation. So before going to simulation, do you have any doubts uh, in VTH and uh, RTH? In the last class, I explained theory, right? So if you have any doubts in finding VTH and RTH, you can ask me. So here. Once again, I am repeating. So here, this is a complex circuit which consists of two voltage sources and uh, more than one resistance. Now here, in this circuit, only RL for RL equal to 30 ohms, we have to find the current flowing through RL. If RL equal to 70 ohms, we have to find the current flowing through RL. If you use, if you if you substitute RL equal to 30 ohms, and if you Want to find the current flowing through RL using KVL and TCL? You can find out. But if uh, RL is changed to 70, so then again you have to write the KVL equations. But suppose if you have the Thevenin uh, sequence circuit, we can easily find out the current flowing through RL, RL, whatever will be the value of RL. So for that, for finding the Thevenin sequence circuit. For this uh, dashed portion, first we have to find the open circuit voltage. So A and B. Now here A and B is the here the circuit between A and B is the two terminal network. So A and B are the two terminals. A and B are the two terminals, and here so left side of the A and B is the Complex circuit that we are going to find the Thevenin sequence of that portion of the circuit. See here, A and B are the two terminals, and here this is the circuit. We have to find the Thevenin sequence for this circuit for this network. Now here, 
A and B. So voltage across A and B is the open circuit voltage. Is it clear? A and B are open circuit terminals. So A and B are the open open circuit. A and B is the open circuit. Now next term, B O C is the open circuit voltage. Voltage across A and B is the open circuit voltage. That will Open circuit voltage itself is the Thevenin's voltage, that is VTH. So for uh, finding VOC, you, you have many methods. You can use whichever method you want. You can use KVR or KCL, whichever is convenient. Then you can find the VOC. So voltage across A and B is VOC, which is equal to VTH. So I got VOC equal to 40 volts. Next, VTH equal to VOC equal to 40 volts that I got. Next, I have to find the equivalent resistance across the terminals A and B. So here A and B are the two terminals. And here we have to replace the voltage source with the short circuit for finding RTH. And I have got the equivalent resistance across A and B as 10 ohms. So RTH equal to 10 ohms, VTH equal to 40 volts. Now I have drawn the circuit. So VTH equal to 40 volts, RTH equal to 10, 10 ohms. A and B are the two terminals. So here this portion, this portion, this dashed portion is replaced by single voltage source in series with resistance RTH. And A and B are the two terminals. And here right side of A and B, see here RL, RL as it is. So for any value of RL, you can easily find out the current flowing through RL. Let us go for the statement, see here. So here, take the screenshot of this one. See here, Thevenin's theorem states that any two terminal linear complex network, any two terminal linear complex network consisting of number of voltage sources, current sources and resistances can be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit. See here, consisting of number of voltage sources, current sources and resistances can be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit consisting of single voltage source VTH in series with a resistance RTH. Again, where the value of a voltage source VTH is equal to the open circuit voltage across the two terminals of the network. The Thevenin's resistance RTH is equal to the equivalent resistance measured between the terminals with all the energy sources replaced by their internal resistances. Internal resistance of voltage source is zero. The short circuit. Internal resistance of current source is infinity. So here we have a complex network consisting of a number of voltage sources, current sources, and resistances. A and B are the two terminals. Now these uh, this can be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit consisting of a single voltage source in series with resistance RTH. See so here A and B are the two terminals. Now here, how to find a VTH means VTH is the voltage across A and B. A and B terminal, whatever the voltage is there, that is VTH. VTH is the voltage across A and B terminals. Now here, how to find how to find RTH? RTH is the equivalent resistance across the terminals A and B with energy sources replaced by their internal resistances. So here we have the complex network with energy sources replaced by their internal resistance then we can find RTH so like this here if you remove RL then A and B are the two terminals and here voltage across A and B is the VOC that is VTH and uh, equivalent resistance across A and B with energy sources replaced by internal resistances we got RTH and we have connected RL to this equivalent circuit. So VTH, RTH, 
A and B are the two terminals, and again we have connected this RL as it is across the terminals A and B. Now, for any value of RL, you can easily find out the current going through RL. Now, here the same thing I am going to do using simulation. See here. So here simulator is there. So here uh, you can create your own login. See here you have the components here you have the battery so you have to drag here you can hold you can click at this one you can move this one what you want to you want a resistor see here you require two voltage sources. So you require one more voltage source. Two voltage sources and resistances. See here, you can take this resistor. You can connect using a wire. So you can check whether the connection is there or not. See, a connection is not made here. See, here you can see here if the connection is not there, you can see pink color. If the connection is there, you can see red, uh, black color. Pink becomes black or blue. See, here when we move the component, that wire also changes. So I connected this this portion. Next a resistor. Here. So here you can see here pink color. This will change to black or blue. You can see blue or gray. This you even in equivalent voltage. So here.
no, no, I have to give the values. See here. For this, see here, voltage. 9 volts is there. So what is voltage I require? I require 48. So here you can use this one. So you can bring up to 48. You can use our power. No, even I broke the laptop. So you try up to this. Wait for uh, two minutes. So here, if you want to see the values, show values. So you can see the values. By default, it will be nine volts. You have the same value here. Actually, this voltage value as forty-eight volts. Next, by default, 10, ohm, 10 ohms will be there for the resistors. You can change the values. Now here, you can change the view. This is a lifelike view. Lifelike view. I want to change it to schematic. You can change like this. Schematic, lifelike. Lifelike means, uh, so here you can see the resistors as it is, like this in the... Uh,